I thought the retention paper made a great deal of sense. Uh, I could subscribe to most everything uh, that the paper laid out. My only, uh, my only argument with the paper would have been that it did not seem to take into account the fact that we're an army at war. And regardless of what mechanisms you have to encourage retention, I think one of the overriding uh, conditions today is the high operational tempo of the force. Whether or not graduate school in today's environment is a luxury or a necessity is, is another interesting question. Uh, to get to the bottom line up first, I think it's a necessity. It's a necessity that we need to take into account. It's very difficult to do because we need all of the officers that we have in the force in the field, or at least the vast majority of them. So it's painful to take officers out of that rotation. But if we don't do it in the near term, we're going to suffer in the long term because we're going to end up with a cadre of officers who do not have the intellectual background and in some cases the, the intellectual training that they're going to need when they move to higher rank. So I think we need to search for ways where we can send officers to graduate school even during times of war because we're going to pay for it in the future if we don't do it. If I look at my, my personal experience with graduate school, uh, it was a very important step for me. In my case, it is actually what kept me in the Army. I don't know if I would have stayed had it not been for that opportunity in the future. In the corporate sector, I am seeing a great many uh, talented officers in positions and being recruited uh, in positions. Because uh, I happen to work in the defense industry and we are always looking for highly talented officers and NCOs, whether they be in another company in the same sector or uh, if they're still on active duty. The difference between the management of talent in the Army and in industry I think is rather dramatic. I'll go back to the notion of fairness. The Army in many cases is, is overwrought with the notion of fairness. Uh, we don't want to take unfair advantage of this person. Every person has to have the same opportunity. Uh, what this leads to is a, is a certain leveling of talent and a certain drive toward maybe not the lowest common denominator, but a common denominator that's lower than it needs to be. I've been in three different companies, and each of those three companies has its own system for evaluating talent. And in that evaluation, there is a forced distribution, which the Army used to have, but I gather has fallen away from. There is a definite forced distribution. You can only put a very small percentage of people in the highest category, and then another small percentage in the next highest category, and then a large percentage in a middle category, and then again as large a percentage as you want in the smaller category at the bottom and if you're there you're not going to stay long. You stay in the bottom category you're going to be released. So industry has a much more draconian system for evaluating talent.